Hi, I'm Aaron Johnson with the Dwayne Johnson Group and Bridger Financial Services uh, with a quick uh, market minute update. Uh, with the recent news about uh, bank failures uh, going on, thought I would uh, just kind of put this out. So last week, uh, bank regulators seized um, SVB or Silicon Valley Bank, uh, the nation's 16th largest bank. Um, they were basically declared insolvent after they couldn't satisfy withdrawals by depositors last Thursday and Friday. And one of the questions we kind of get is, how does a thriving financial institution like SVB get to this point? Well, like always, there's a number of contributing factors. So um, the SVB basically works with large tech companies um, and activity in the tech se sector has dropped off a lot over the last year, year and a half. Um, the bank uh, had its deposits tied up in low yielding treasuries. And when rates started going up and those treasuries dropped and they, they didn't sell them at that point or didn't anticipate um, the rising inflation and rising rate environment, um, those bonds went down and they had a whole, they basically were holding on to them. Um, SVP tried to issue, uh, to raise cash by issuing more stock. Um, that didn't go over well with, um, with investors. And basically they had to sell those treasuries that they had a loss on and sell those at a loss to cover the deposits from the bank uh, for, for their depositors. Um, so depositors basically lost confidence in the bank and withdrew their funds, causing the bank to fail. Now, the FDIC does insure uh, deposits up to $250,000 per titling of account. And that's very, um, you have to be very careful of that. So if you have $250,000 in, in two different joint accounts, you need to know that both of those $250,000 aren't, um, aren't covered by the FDIC. You could have one in your name, maybe your spouse's name, and then one in a joint name. And now that allows for 250000 for each one of those. After that, you need to start um, kind of spreading around the risk of FDIC insurance and spread that around to different banks. Well, 90% of the SVB customers had more than that 250000 deposited in their bank, not insured by the FDIC. And that's why there was a run on it. Now, the U.S. government has said it will step in. It's going to waive the deposit cap and all depositors are going to get their monies. Um, and that allows for tech companies that have their money there um, to pay their bills and their payrolls. So everything is going to be fine there. Regulators also seized New York-based Signature Bank over the weekend. Um, and the government plans to do the exact same thing and um, basically ignore the deposit rates and cover all depositors. Now, I think it's also important to note that none of this is at the cost of the taxpayer. So all of this is FDIC insured money and it's coming from the FDIC. Um, so are these activities and signs of a bigger financial crisis to come? Um, not at this point. Um, there are always banks that are on the watch list from the FDIC, even in good times. And, and unfortunately, some of the circumstances recently and poor management of the bank um, led to them closing. So we don't think that this is uh, a sign of, you know, a whole lot more to come. Now, some of these smaller banks that haven't um, run their investments very well, yes, they may, uh, some of them may fail. But, you know, I don't expect to see anything like we had in 08 and, uh, and 09. Um, but the markets don't like negative headlines, right? Um, so we saw a lot of volatility and sell-offs last week. Um, and that led, you know, uh, is still going to maintain a lot of volatility in the market um, as, as, more situ as the situation kind of unfolds. Also, we have the latest inflation numbers uh, are scheduled to come in this week. And that could add a kind of more drama, if you will, to the, um, to the markets. Uh, Fed Chairman Powell hinted um, that inflation was not where he wanted it to be, and that an increase of 50 basis points um, may happen this next time over the normal uh, 25 basis points or quarter of a percent uh, increase. Uh, they meet on the 21st and 22nd of the month. Um, so I'm guessing in light of kind of bank failures, 
uh, they may just stick with their 25 basis point uh, increase and not do the full 50. Um, keep in mind, you know, uh, rising interest rates is definitely necessary to kind of help with inflation. Uh, but one of the more important things that we need to keep looking at is money supply. And we need the tightening of that money supply to, uh, to continue. So just know that we are keeping an eye on the events and, and how they will impact your investments and your overall financial plan. Uh, we will be reaching out to you if we think changes are necessary. Um, and, but if you do have any questions about your plan, about your investments, please give us a phone call. Um, our number is 951-244-6702, or you can shoot us an email. Um, we will be sending this out uh, shortly to everyone as well. Um, and you can always, you know, check out our YouTube channels for uh, market updates. They do hit a little bit sooner than the emails do. And again, we're here to walk, walk alongside of you and navigate these potentially uh, rocky roads ahead. So if you have any questions, please give us a phone call. And as always, thank you very much for your business and your confidence in us. We do appreciate it.